morning and good afternoon to all of you. It's a real pleasure to be part of this uh, really um, gathering of uh, security professionals, not just from Africa and the Arab region, but across uh, the globe. We are happy to have with us today participants for, uh, 70, from 70 countries, over 300 registered participants will be joining us throughout the three day of the event. Um, it's, uh, you know, a very unique event, uh, bridging, you know, uh, coordination among, uh, you know, the, mainly the, uh, the African and the Arab region, but also with uh, partners across the globe. We have uh, with us today uh, my colleague, uh, uh, Dr. Serge Drews, who is a board member of FIRST. Uh, FIRST has been organizing uh, regional events uh, in uh, Africa and the Arab region since 2015 with the first African regional event, followed by uh, an Arab, a joint Arab-African event in Egypt in 2016. Uh, and since then, we have had, uh, you know, um, the conference moving around. We are glad this time it's a virtual conference, but it is uh, our virtual host is Tunisia, which we will have uh, Tunisia with us. Uh, we have Africa CERT has been championing this effort in Africa, uh, not just this effort, a lot. And I'm really glad uh, to have my uh, colleague and partner, Jean Robert Hantomani. And, and really, it has been a pleasure working with uh, a very esteemed organizing committee. Aside from uh, John Robert, Professor Nabil uh, uh, Sahli, uh, uh, and our brother uh, Nofel uh, Freja, who, who would have been with us, but um, would like to express our condolences. He had uh, a death in the family. So uh, we, uh, I, I'm sure that we have our Tunisian uh, colleagues uh, fill in. Uh, we have also Dr. Kaleem uh, Osmani, uh, uh, and um, we have Tracy, we have Wafa Dahmani and uh, Chris Gibson. So we have, uh, you know, a very uh, energetic uh, program uh, created by this organizing committee. I'd like to uh, recognize their effort um, uh, at the beginning. Uh, so with this said, it's very important to highlight the importance of partnership. This conference is about partnerships uh, in, uh, in, in the essence of, uh, you know, cybersecurity, incident response, incident management, uh, sharing knowledge. Uh, we have uh, a very full program today, uh, uh, five panels, in addition of two day of trainings. Uh, I, I was told that it is packed, so I look forward to it. Uh, with this said, I'd like to pass the floor to my colleague, uh, Dr. Serge Drews. Thank you, Sharif, for your welcome. And, and let me join in in welcoming all the participants here. Looking uh, at the, the list in the chat of, of all the countries present, for a change, I feel in the minority. I'm coming from Switzerland. And usually at these type of events, it's always pale males. It's always kind of white men from the US or North America. And I'm really happy to see this is not the case today because this is really what improving security together means. It's a, and we had earlier this year, a first conversation with Africa Sur about how we should go on about this event. One of the things we brought up is that we felt there should be more contributions from Africa because the perception, the global perception is always there's, there's all these really super smart people in kind of the so-called developed nations and then there's the rest. But last year's event has shown to me that this is not the case. And today's program, the next, the program of the next two days proves that this is not the case. There's great talent and I'm really happy to see that, that this talent, this potential is not only potential, it's actually reality. And I think no one has to argue that the internet is going to be a game changer also in the African Arab region, but it's actually good to see that these regions are taking things into their own hand and come up with their own versions and, and their own self-confidence. So in that sense, I'm really looking forward to two days of actually learning from your experience in, in your unique individual cultural environments and contexts, which sometimes is difficult for us or for me to understand, and not in a bad way, but in a way that I feel I can learn a lot from you. So welcome and thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So uh, uh, Tracy, with this said, uh, do we move to uh, the <laughs> next report? Would, would Jean Robert and, and Wafa, would either of you like to 
to say yeah. any remarks. Yeah, yes. Um, so uh, distinguished participant uh, speakers, instructors, uh, first of board of directors, Mrs. Damani representing Mr. Frika, CEO of NC Tunisia, host organization of TUNCERT and founding member of Africa CERT. Mr. Saad Dari, representing His Excellency, Dr. Ben Niji, Minister of Communication Technology, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I, I won't say much, but I would like to observe that uh, since the ISOC network training in the 90s to uh, the first internet governance forum in December 98, where uh, it was put forward a proposal to create African technical organization to the OASIS Declaration of Principle in 2003, suggesting that strengthening the trust framework, including information security and network security, authentication, privacy, and consumer progression protection is a prerequisite of the development of the information society and for building confidence among users of ICT, we have made progress. We are grateful to first who step in uh, since 2004 at the AFNOV conference in Dakar to convey the message of support from the first board of directors and all the many others, uh, particip participants, uh, capacity building implementers, and also incident response team all over the world and organization that have stepped up with us to support the efforts that we are doing. Uh, with a great pleasure and gratitude, uh, I address you today at the yearly symposium rendezvous that started, as Sheriff mentioned, in 2015 as part of an engagement and collaboration vehicle with the global incident response community to meet, discuss progress, share experience, and set the way forward. We are very fortunate that you have answered a call for partnership and collaboration put forward by the program committee, allowing us to take another step in fulfilling our mission of making incident response and security teams more effective. On this note, I thank you very much. Okay. So, it's up to me, I think, Tracy. It is, it is up yeah, to you. Thank you. <laughs> so, this, this time, good speakers, panelists, and dear participants, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It depends where you are connecting from. Uh, actually, I would like to start by thanking and congratulating the organization committee for the, the joint effort um, put through to organize this event. As you may know, we have been working together for the last three, uh, four months in order to set a program that can attract and interest uh, as much as possible the community. Seeing the figures, we have many, I think over 300 uh, or 400 registrants and uh, 70 countries um, represented, I think we have quite succeeded in that. So uh, thanks, thanks again. I would like also to uh, uh, make special thanks to FIRST and uh, our, all our partners, Africa CERT, ITU, and OEC CERT for their support and the contribution to organize, uh, contributions to organize this symposium. Now coming to TUNCET, as you may uh, all know, it's the first certified CERT in Africa. We are the national CERT uh, in Tunisia, and we have been contributing and working to, for the development uh, of the CERT ecosystem in the region by supporting the establishment of CERTs uh, in many countries in Africa, and also taking part and participating in several uh, workshops and uh, um, forums on capacity building and exchange programs. Um, uh, let me now, uh, uh, I think uh, I have to introduce uh, our special guest, Mr. Kamel Saadewi, who is uh, the, the uh, chief of ICT minister uh, in Tunisia. Mr. Kamel Saadewi uh, has held several uh, management positions in Tunisia. He was the CEO of Internet, Tunisian Internet Agency, the uh, president of the Telecom National Telecommunication Authority, the, and the CEO of uh, computer, National Computer 
uh, center, among other and many responsibilities. Uh, uh, Mr. Kamel, we are honored to, uh, to have you with us today, and the floor is yours. Merci beaucoup. My speech was initially pre prepared in French. <laughs> uh, boring speech, now it will be in English, and it's still boring as, as, as promised. Uh, so, honorable colleagues, I'm happy to be with you today in the opening of your workshop. The digital is a great opportunity to improve the life of citizens with connected administration, e-banking, e-services due to the innovation in artificial intelligence, IoT, blockchain, 5G, big data, and all the issues you know about. But this is making personal data and even state data more exposed to better connected hackers and criminals. The digital inclusion, uh, which is a noble, noble goal, is also expanding the threat on our data and information networks. A misconfigured or miscoded online service can be fatal. And we've seen recent cases while creating e-wallets in Tunisia, we created e-wallets to distribute the, uh, the aid for uh, COVID-19 needy people. And we created that on online service and the database was exposed, including some personal data, phone numbers, ID numbers, and so on. And uh, Unfortunately, hackers did discover the, the, the flow and the mistake, and they were able to get part of the data and the database, and was a little bit, created little mistrust in the system. Uh, fortunately, uh, we discovered the issue quickly with NC, with our CERT, and uh, we, we got help from them on time, and fortunately, we were able to save the server. But that can, can touch on the trust that can people can have in, in online services. So here comes the need for a hierarchy of certs at the international level, as we have first an Africa cert and so on. The national level, the way we have is a, a NC and cert, as well as sector-based levels for better coordination and adoption. For this, we have a banking cert, we have a telecommunication cert, we have a, a computer center certs and so on. All of that connected in a network configured with, with the national cert. So in Tunisia, we have six certs. Three of them are first members. And we, we recently launched the network of certs and SOCs for better coordination within themselves and with the Africa cert and first. The final word for me today is uh, you're building the trust in digital services. Keep up the good work and good luck in your mission. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Mr. Kamal. We cannot thank you enough for being with us today. We really appreciate your being here. We appreciate the support of TunCert uh, over the years. It has been a privilege and please convey our greetings to um, the minister uh, whom we hope to have, uh, I mean, a chance to meet in a future event. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.